Maccabeem Shani, two Maccabees five. About the same time, Antichius prepared his second voyage into Mitzrayim. And then it happened that through all the city, for the space almost of forty days, there were seen horsemen running in the air, in cloth of gold, and armed with lances like a band of soldiers, and troops of horsemen in array, encountering and running one against another, with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes, and drawing of swords and casting of spears and glittering of golden ornaments and harness of all sorts. Wherefore every man prayed that that apparition might turn to good. Now, when there was gone forth a false rumor, as though Antichius had been dead, Yachon took at the last a thousand men, and suddenly made an assault upon the city. And they that were upon the walls, being put back, and the city at length taken, many Laos fled into the castle. But Yechan slew his own citizens without mercy, and not considering that to get the day of them of his own nation would be a most unhappy day for him. But thinking they had been his enemies, and not his countrymen whom he conquered, Howbeit for all this he obtained not the principality, but at the last received shame for the reward of his treason, and fled again into the country of the Ammonim. In the end thereof he had an unhappy return, being accused before Aretas, the king of the Aravim, fleeing from city to city, pursued of all men, hated as a forsaker of the Torah and being had in abomination as an open enemy of his country and countrymen. He was cast out into Mitzrayim. Thus, he that had driven many out of their country perished in a strange land, retiring to the Lacedaemonians, and thinking there to find help by reason of his kindred. And he that had cast out many unburied had none to mourn for him, nor any solemn funerals at all, nor sepulchre with his fathers. Now when this that was done came to the king's ear, he thought that Yahuda had revolted, whereupon removing out of Mitzrayim in a furious mind, he took the city by force of arms, and commanded his men of war not to spare such as they met, and to slay such as went upon the houses, Thus there was killing of young and old, making away of men, women, and children, slaying of virgins and infants, and there were destroyed within the space of three whole days fourscore thousand, whereof forty thousand were slain in the conflict, and no fewer sold than slain. Yet was he not content with this, but presumed to go into the most holy temple of all the world, Many laus that traitor to the Torah, and to his own country, being his guide. And, taking the holy vessels with polluted hands and with profane hands, pulling down the things that were dedicated by other kings to the augmentation and glory and honor of the place, he gave them away. And so haughty was Antichius in mind, that he considered not that Yahuwah was angry for a while for the sins of them that dwelt in the city, and therefore his eye was not upon the place. For had they not been formerly wrapped in many sins, this man, as soon as he had come, had forthwith been scourged and put back from his presumption, as Helodorus was, whom Seleucus the king sent to view the treasury. Nevertheless, Elohim did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. And therefore, the place itself that was partaker with them of the adversity that happened to the nation, did afterward communicate in the benefits sent from Yahuwah. And as it was forsaken in the wrath of El Shaddai, so again 
the great Yahweh being reconciled, it was set up with all glory. So when Antichius had carried out of the temple a thousand and eight hundred talents, he departed in all haste unto Antioch, weaning in his pride to make the land navigable and the sea passable by foot. Such was the haughtiness of his mind. And he left governors to vex the nation. Add Yerushalayim, Philip, for his country a Phrygian, and for manners more barbarous than he that set him there. And at Gerizim, and Doranicus, and besides Menelaus, who worse than all the rest bore a heavy hand over the citizens, having a malicious mind against his countrymen, the Yahudim. He sent also that detest detestable ringleader, Apollonius, with an array of two and twenty thousand, commanding him to slay all those that were in their best age, and to sell the women and the younger sort. Who, coming to Yerushalayim and pretending peace, did forbear till the holy day of the Shabbath, rather the Shabbath, when taking the Yahudim, keeping holy day, he commanded his men to arm themselves. And so he slew all them that were gone to the celebrating of the Shabbat, and running through the city with weapons, slew great multitudes. But Yahuda Maccabee, with nine others, or thereabout, withdrew himself into the wilderness, and lived in the mountains after the manner of beasts, with his company, who fed on herbs continually, lest they should be partakers of the pollution 